Norbert uses a creative uncommon smoke bug on overpass. Here are CSGO tricks, but they get increasingly more insane. This next move from Flit is actually way more complex than it looks. You should know by now that you can body block all the grenades, but cancelling dust to store hinge smoke is a hard one to execute and get away with it, mainly because of the aggro positioning needed to set you up for that. Now on to the next one. Fame uses the tiny sandbag gap to see enemies first. Simplicity is genius. Alrighty, Gambit and Nafani here with a cool on top of the two man tower standing up left click fire to force people out from the annoying right side monster position. They combine it with other close monster molotov and since Nafani stays on the boost, they end up in a nice 4v3 situation. Awesome stuff. Next up, Monacy with a spot. And if we get more than 3 likes here, I'm gonna reveal Monacy's shoulder. Thanks. Skulls rushes banana, throws a running molotov to get stuck in car to fake that they are taking banana slowly, leaving them some room to go around it without taking any damage, but in reality they go in harder than Mika Hakkinen at his prime. If you want to go to a toilet but still want to be better than others, you can jump above the toilet sign and enjoy truly extra guns of you. Enemies should like it as well, so it's a total win-win. Sirson with a crazy cross map smoke on Inferno, a corner position, aim like shown, 10 8 jump throw, and you're gonna smoke off middle. Yes, it sticks out a little, and yes, it bounces twice, so sharper guys can call it strong from CT spawn. This crouching two man tower is more powerful than you think. Is it the man's head, or flowers, or both? Because man f something up again and needed to come to fix the situation, plus save the relationship. ATN made it extremely smooth here, but whatever, since everyone should know this by now. Next up, Kraken with a cool, simple flashbang. Rock and roll. KNG and Nekis with a two man tower behind Nuke's T vent to get an entry to our lobby. Alrighty, my subscriber Knutten with a free damage cap on overpass B bomb site. Keep in mind to start sliding up from the right side of the wooden thingy, then find the gap and go redeem your 50 free damage onto an enemy. Fresh stuff. Now Rob's with a silent drop down onto A ramp. Almost a double kill as well, what a banger. Here's another way how you can silently drop down from heaven to A without taking any damage. This line starting spot, aim at this bomb side curve, then run with W and press W plus A when you hit the thingy. For me it worked pretty decently, but surely there must be better lineups out there so keep exploring. And I actually have no idea why you should prefer this showfall method to a good old yellow door. Two jump spots for quick info at Ninja and Mirage. If you're stuck here, you might want to go for the info play this way and then take on the fight. Since ceiling pushes you down, it's very hard for your opponent to kill you like that. Rain gets boosted behind Blue with his small box covering him from outside so he can solely focus on Silo. As you can imagine, even Crimson's experienced eyes have never seen anything like that. Here's Sirson jumping out onto B and masking his dropping sound with an AWP shot. This helped him to win this following 1v3 clutch. From enemy's POVs, it's very hard to hear that he dropped down and no one really expects him to be that close. We're gonna continue with Astralis's creative triple nade stack towards CT side mid. You can pause for the lineups and I reckon you aim even lower than that for more effectiveness. In this case, no damage at all, but the time will come where this idea will catch a free frag onto CT so try to go early donut from middle or just stay around stairs. Mark my words. Next up, Norbert clearing sandwich. This trick has been in front of your eyes for 10-ish years, yet you probably didn't know about that. 
Young ninjas smoke meat early, get into their corner positions with extravaganza aiming spots, then boot run sideways and throw their grenades. This trick ends Latix life, but not only that, as it sets a new standard on how awesome grenade throwing can look like. Go next. Alrighty, this boost is from 2020 and although it's creative AF, it didn't lead onto an entry frag. We can't say the same for this one though, cry to the president. RuneScaper should think twice before launching up a big boys game. Dust2 has been out there for a long time and a trick that has been in front of people's eyes for years was just made popular by Pro Show. This way of run boosting wins you some crucial extra time to catch B defenders off guard. In this case, a CT spent some time at middle and his Molotov was already late for this run boost entry method. Speed forever. By the way, Valve, we do already have gloves, but why not some skins for boots? You haven't seen this next clip unless you're a true CS nerd. It all starts with a boost up bulk, then a first weapon saver down and a successful T-Side Apps rifle wallbang, Bruce Willis in the house. We're gonna continue with APG's epic run boost. All small details on point, they knew where and why to run boost. The bottom guy also showed themselves for some milliseconds to the heaven opera and in general, super general. Next up, Martinez and Alex, two guys, one tower. What an insane jump spot wall bang. Here's Buzz who molotovs abs not earlier than 140 and 10 with the timing wall bangs balcony room. Entry kills can be simple as that. Now I am with a nasty position at overpass connector. You can't grill this spot with a molotov and since the background is dark, it's an impossible off angle to deal with really. Let's hop on to an next clip. Oh my god, I got it! Holy shit, I got it! Dima underscore wall hacks with multiple pixel walks on Mirage CT spawn executed an almighty deathmatch server, but you can do it wherever, just prefer non-official games as you can get banned for using pixel walks in official matches. I got it! Woohoo! Alrighty boys from Spirit Academy building the same creative three-man tower that you might have seen from my older videos. It grants the player on the top with partial vision towards B monster area. JW and company are truly bamboozled and although they get the round, they lost two weapons to this boost. Remember the saying, when Valve patches one all of boost, there's always gonna be a next one on the horizon. Next up Mirage, starting from the trash can, now he's here. Positions height 10 out of 10, but enemies aim 11 out of 10. Rumors say they were stream sniping though. Now shout out to Massa and Pandaric 5 heads. Here's a 4 man tower that you have never seen on Vertigo. It requires 5 guys to build, but the result is breathtaking, so why not? A fun fact, their opera got told just a few hours prior of the trick that shooting someone in the finger is also lethal. It was a critical info piece to his skill on the boost and they all had a good laugh about it. Entry like a boss. And here's a 3 man trick on Inferno by Legendary Exploit Mafia, most likely the highest position a man's has ever been on Inferno, history made, kills as well. As sometimes seeing older tricks can spark some new innovative ideas, here's my full pro tricks playlist on your screens now, feel free to watch it 